think the biggest security challenges we see with most of our customers um, to date are that they simply do not have the expertise or the resources to investigate you know, all the EDR alerts, and they don't have necessarily the understanding of their own networks. They just don't have the, the right resources, the right people. And it's not that they couldn't, it's that they don't right now, right? And that it is very difficult to bring enough people on to monitor your environment 24-7. A lot of times, like, that's the doorway. Phishing emails and social engineering and whatnot. Even Sue in accounting knows like what you do not do. It's been getting more difficult. Cybersecurity, you have to be aware of more things and do more because the enemy is out there and he's at the door. It's a constant struggle keeping things safe. What I think the coolest thing about cybersecurity is it affects everyone. We don't need to think about cybersecurity and cyber threat groups at a national level, but we need to look at them as criminals and criminal organizations that can target anyone they, they feel fit. And so it is a world problem, it is your problem, it is a business's problem, and hopefully you have the right people, process, and technology in place to deal with it. Definitely the, the feeling that you're solving your puzzle when you're getting to the bottom of those investigations and figuring out what happened. Solving puzzles, solving problems, just being able to finish that and find out what happened is amazing. I love it. To see how things have evolved over time, how not just attacks have evolved, but also how we as security professionals and as the industry has changed our mindset. You have to evolve your thinking. There's always a new challenge or a new puzzle to solve, and often it encourages you to be like creative about your approach, so it keeps me pretty invested. The next 10 years, where is cybersecurity going? A lot of things are going to become automated, artificial intelligence now, and I think that security is just going to kind of transform to where it moves. Electric vehicles, the self-driving features that Tesla's trying to push out and things like that. Having security behind that is going to be another concern. The expertise is in the civilian market and national governments are realizing it. And they're realizing that there's technology and people and expertise in some of these cybersecurity companies. And so we're gonna see a lot more sharing going on. And you're going to see these governments reach out to these experts in these fields and, and, and these civilian companies to help them. So you're gonna see a lot more collaboration and sharing of information between governments and the civilian sector. So I think it'll be in about the same place that we are at now. There will be innovations in technology, there'll be advances and all of those things, but you're still gonna have attackers who are ingenious. They are able to get around those defenses. So there are gonna be applications that will have those hidden flaws in them that an attacker is going to be able to exploit. You still will have analysts on the other side of that trying to protect against those attackers.